A delegation of young Japanese lawmakers is in Taiwan on a five-day visit. They arrived on Tuesday and were hosted at a banquet by Foreign Minister Joseph Wu. On Wednesday, they met with Taiwan's premier and vowed to fully support Taiwan's membership in the CPTPP, an 11-nation free trade agreement. They also made their way up to a mountainside grave to pay respects to Taiwan's first democratically elected president. A delegation from the youth division of Japan's Liberal Democratic Party made a trip up Ujin Mountain on Wednesday. They lined up before the tomb of former President Li Danhui and bowed deeply three times. The head of the delegation, Ogura Masanobu, posted a tribute to Li on social media. He hailed Li as a great statesman who promoted Japan-Taiwan relations, one who has the respect of many Japanese parliamentarians. The delegation arrived in Taiwan the day before. Foreign Minister Joseph Wu held a banquet in their honor at the Taipei Guest House. <laughs> This is the first delegation of Japanese lawmakers to visit since the start of the pandemic. The purpose of their visit is to strengthen the relationship between Taiwan and Japan. The director of the youth division typically goes on to become a minister or the prime minister. We're taking this delegation very seriously. They're the rising stars of Japanese politics. When meeting the group, Premier Su Chang pitched Taiwan's membership to the Comprehensive and Progressive Agreement for Trans-Pacific Partnership. If Japan strongly supports Taiwan's participation in organizations like the CPTPP, that would be to our mutual benefit. We in the democratic camp ought to mutually assist one another to prevent our totalitarian and autocratic neighbors from arbitrarily launching wars. With regard to Taiwan's membership in the CPTPP, we will coordinate with other members of the youth division to offer our greatest support. With regard to the WHO and the International Civil Aviation Organization, we will also provide assistance and support as soon as possible. Ogura emphasized that he would support Taiwan to the end. He said he was grateful to Taiwan for lifting its ban on food imports from five Japanese prefectures. He noted that he had informed former Japan Prime Minister Shinzo Abe about this trip. On Thursday, the delegation will meet President Tsai Ing-wen, Vice President Lai ching de and Legislative Speaker Yoshi Kun. They will make stops in Taipei, Taoyuan, Xinzhou, and other cities and counties to broaden their understanding of Taiwan.